one of the things that's often misunderstood is the question of unemployment. Um, students could quite quickly find themselves um, puzzled as to why there are different measures, for example, the two measures of unemployment, types of unemployment, and kind of falling into the trap as well as to, you know, are, is there the workforce, yeah, and then the unemployed, which is not the case. So let me just deal with that one first. Um, when we talk about the unemployed, we talk about the unemployed are members of the workforce. Yeah, the workforce, um, or, or, or the quantity of labour in the UK, uh, so we're saying by labour, we're talking about um, those who are employed and unemployed. Yeah, for the unemployed, yes, are people without jobs, but they are defined as willing and able to work. Yeah, um, that if a job was offered to them, they would say yes, um, and they have the ability, in terms of maybe the right skills, to, to be able to get jobs in Britain. Um, now, it's wrong to say that disabled people cannot be counted as unemployed. Um, you know, it's, it's a case of maybe disabled people are more discriminated against um, and are viewed as not being able to get a job. So that's more an issue of discrimination. Um, you know, they, they still can be counted as people that do want to be looking for work and, and, and many do are, are in the workplace. Um, by saying willing, um, it gets a bit loose to, to interpretation there. Uh, are we saying those people who um, have been looking for a job in the last few weeks, uh, would be looking for a job in the next few weeks coming up. Now these kind of disagreements have resulted in uh, an old, very discredited measure of unemployment, although it's still used, maybe it's used for reasons to do with comparing economic data to the past, because it's the old method of measuring unemployment. Um, this measure is the claimant count. And the benefit they're claiming uh, in 2012 was the job seekers allowance at the start of 2012, which replaced what used to be called unemployment benefit or the dole. Um, now, to be able to claim this benefit, um, you had to be uh, made a contribution, so contributions based job seekers allowance. Um, so you maybe had to be in work for a period of time. Uh, you claim it up to six months. Um, if you had a certain level of savings, you would not be entitled to it. Um, so it starts to remove a number of people. To claim it, you would have to regularly sign on and prove that you've been willing to, 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 to do work. So if, say, you've been doing a voluntary job that's more than 16 hours a week, or part-time education that's more than 16 hours a week, you may no longer be counted on the claimant count as unemployed. You're no longer entitled to job seekers allowance. So all these cuts and entitlements basically reduce the measure of the claimant count, reduce artificially the levels of unemployment, you might say. There is a counter-argument, though, which is to say that this is maybe a, a very kind of tough, core way of measuring who is genuinely willing and able to work. Um, you know, if, if people have a large amount of savings, are they really willing to work? Um, they could live off their savings for a period of time. Um, if someone's spending all their time um, looking for that break in the music industry or writing their, their first bestseller as a book, you know, are they really able to be out there looking for a job? Um, and there's a wider issue there, which is that these creative talents that, that you know, Britain has been famous for, you know, they shouldn't be ignored, obviously. So, you know, there's a criticism there about that measure and what we're saying is unemployment uh, and not being able to, to contribute to the productive capacity of Britain. Um, the new measure is the um, labour force survey. I hesitate there because it's also sometimes called the International Labour Organisation measure. This International Labour Organisation is a global body which governments across the world have signed up to, which businesses and trade unions recognise, 
and therefore it is a very useful international measure of unemployment. And particularly, you know, in terms of the context of our major trading partners in the European Union, um, and if we were to join the euro at a later stage, it's a more accurate measure of comparing unemployment in Britain compared to levels across Europe. It's a survey, so it's a case of going door to door um, with a sample group um, of the population and finding those people who, you know, are out of work but are willing and are able to work and maybe are not currently entitled to the claimant count or job seekers allowance or, do, or do not, are not interested in claiming it. So it is a wider measure. Um, the measures you know, could be say 1 million on the job seekers allowance and it could be like 2 million on the international labour organisation measures. They are very different measures. So here we've looked initially at the measures of unemployment. This is one of the things you do need to uh, understand. Right, we'll next deal with the question of types of unemployment.